Thurston here from Now Spin Magazine and I promised I would let you look inside and at the new deluxe editions of Mob Rules and Heaven and Hell by Black Sabbath and here it is. There was already an extensive review on the Now Spinning website so go to nowspinning.co.uk to read that but this is looking at the physical releases. Now I'm going to be showing you the vinyl um, and talking about that as well and give you a bit of background because I know that many of you like to know a little bit of history and social background. I have covered Heaven and Hell before on this channel so just search for that and it's where I talk in much more detail about the actual tour itself. But I want to show you this which is the double album and also Mob Rules. Now this video in a way has to go out to several strands of rock fans doesn't it? There'll be some of you who are thinking I'm gonna to have to buy it again. Do I need to buy it again? Um, which should I go for the CD or the vinyl? And some of you will be new fans of Black Sabbath and thinking I'd like to have a vinyl copy um, because that's what I'm really into or, or the CD or what, what should I do? So I'm gonna be very open and honest about this and think about what it is, you know, I think you should, should do. So the first one I'm gonna look at is Heaven and Hell. Now, if you are new to Black Sabbath and Ronnie James Dio and this period of Sabbath, and to me, it is Black Sabbath, you might be thinking, maybe I should just go for the original. Here is an original copy from 1980. Now, the thing is with this is it's gonna be quite hard to find a mint copy of the original album. But even if you do, um, that that old um, maxim of, oh, you sit down with the vinyl album, look through the cover while you're playing the album, it's this and it's that. It literally is that the illustration of the band, the song titles, and that's it. There's no lyric sheet, there's no inner sleeve, there's nothing, there's no other pictures. Which is quite remarkable, really, when you think that Black Sabbath had lost Ozzy, they just got Ronnie James Dio. This is a huge revamp for the band. Um, you think, go back to Deep Purple when Tommy Bolin joined, they got a gatefold sleeve and an inner lyric sheet. You know, the label made everything they could do to try and make people come over to the new lineup. Here, the fans were already behind this, but the cover itself was no gatefold, that was it. And I'm saying that because if it is the vinyl you're looking for, then this is spectacular. It's double, it's a double vinyl album. Um, I'll bring up the a bit more detail on the screen as well. But in the gatefold, there's all the, you know, it's in small print, so there's the, you know, the full booklet that you get from the CD text is in there. And also a, a good segment from the actual artist who designed the, the cover as well. It's heavy duty uh, vinyl, uh, 180 gram. Uh, I don't like these paper inserts. I prefer polyline stuff, but um, you can always change those yourself. So I'm not going to, you know, knock any points off of that. But it's a, it's very, it's fantastic, and it's a great pressing. It's also, I'll have to say this, it says um, 2021 release credits. Um, Hugh Gilmore's to help with the cover, and mastering is by Andy Pierce and Matt Warner at Wired Masters London. So this will be the next thing that some of you'll be saying is. It's remastered, is it? Does it sound better or whatever? Does it sound better than, you know, the original? Which didn't have things like that on, really. It just it was just done by Martin Birch. Now, those of you who uh, have ever been to an optician and had your eyes tested, and when the optician puts one lens in and says, is that better than this one? And you go, um, can you do it again? And you, go, and you go, this one or that one? And you go, um, not sure, can you do it again? The remastering is like that because this was always a fantastic sounding album. I myself and many of my friends used Heaven and Hell to take round to a hi-fi shop when we were ever going to upgrade any parts of our equipment in the in the early 80s because it sounds that good. And I played the original vinyl and I played this, I played the track Heaven and Hell at a fair volume and um, I'm sure the neighbours appreciated it. And I couldn't tell. I'd have to do a blind test with see my wife putting, putting one on and the other one and not telling me which one it was. 
I couldn't really tell the difference and I kind of visualised that it's a bit like when you open a computer programme and you haven't done anything to it but when you go to close it it says you want to save and it just made me wonder whether um, Andy, Andy Pierce had kind of like opened it up and got all the tracks out and listened to it back and thought hmm and then when he closed it down it said you want to save um, and it didn't really do a lot to it because there's not a lot that needs doing to it at all it sounds it sounds fantastic um, I mean, I've gone through these, the older CDs before. And for me personally, this is the one I wanted. And it's confusing for people because in 2010, there was a two CD deluxe edition. And in America, a new two CD deluxe edition came out in the last year. So the one that's coming out to us has already been out in the States, which is why in the comments of my previous video announcing this, people were confused about saying what it is. And of course, the, the live, the, the additional tracks are also a little bit mixed up as well. Not so much with Heaven and Hell, to be honest, because in a way, this is excellent if you want the vinyl version, because the 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 second album of bonus tracks is Children of the Sea, which is a B side of Neon Knights. I remember buying it, Heaven and Hell. The B side of you know Die Young. I remember buying that, and, and Live Eel Mono edit. Maybe not so much, but Neo Knights Live 1980, side four is Children of the Sea Live, Heaven and Hell Live, and Die, Long, and, uh, Die Young Live, which is from Hartford Civic Center in the USA, August the 10th, 1980. Um, the, the original uh, two CD set was mainly stuff from, I think it was Hammersmith Odeon. And on the new version, it is, um, it's from Hammersmith Odeon and there are some unreleased tracks, but maybe those are unreleased tracks in America. It's, it's quite confusing this, which is why I focused on the original album because the bonus tracks, it's, it's how you want to go after, it's how you want to go out of this. But the core thing is the original album. So buying the, the new 2C Deluxe Edition for the original album, I don't think it's that necessary. So if you're new to this album, then either buy whatever CD version you would like to get because it sounds fantastic anyway, or this vinyl version. Just a few notes about this, because I now I'm because I have been playing it. When a lot of people said, well, it's not it's not Sabbath without Ozzy back then, I remember sitting on the bus, uh, was, was it May the 24th, 26th, something like that, going up to Birmingham Odeon to watch them play this. And there were, there was kids on the bus saying they were going for the second night. They weren't quite sure. I was already sure. Um, Sabbath, outside of doing Paranoid, they hadn't really done a fast track, had they? But hearing Neon Knights blast out the speakers at 100 miles an hour, you know, the height of the new wave of British heavy metal, was it not just the right thing that the forefathers of heavy metal were coming back out the gates when Iron Maiden and Saxon and Def Leppard and all and Samson etc were doing their stuff that Sabbath was showing they were still around and obviously Die Young what a track but I remember being in um, I think it was Golden Lion pub and um, Children of the Sea came on I mean they were the acoustic start and then that riff oh, I own these riffs on this and of course Heaven and Hell Heaven and Hell is just a masterpiece and yes it belongs in the Black Sabbath catalogue, Heaven and Hell, that riff and Geezer's bubbling bass line and Tony Omer's guitar playing. It's like, I, I, as you know, I'm a huge fan of Technical Ecstasy where I think his guitar playing really came to the fore. But on this, you know, tracks like Lonely is the Word and it's, it's soloing. And of course, Heaven and Hell became a, oops, became like a showcase for that kind of use of echo on his guitar solos. Absolutely brilliant. So that's Heaven and Hell. The next one is Mob Rules. I'll admit I have never owned this on vinyl before, uh, only on CD. I never got around to buying it at the time. My money was diverted in different directions and I didn't. Um, I had the two CD de deluxe edition from about 10 years ago, which had a couple of tracks on on the, on the main album's disc as extras. And then it was Hammersmith Odeon on CD2. On the new version, it's very different. Um, it's actually, if I can find it, OK, 
can I? I can. Is that there are about eight tracks, extra tracks on the first CD. Um, that's obviously things like Mob Rules, the heavy metal soundtrack version, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, some of the B-sides, such as some Hammersmith Odeon stuff. And then it's on disc two, which is where all the interest is for us in the UK, because it's basically the Portland gig from April the 22nd, 1982, which takes up the whole of the second disc. So that is unreleased to us in the UK. Obviously, this had to be a compromise for the vinyl. It's a double vinyl gatefold sleeve, as you can see. Um, lots of, I'll bring this up on the screen as well. The SA is fantastic um, because it's new. Um, there's, again, a disc in interview with the artist who designed the sleeve. But this had to be a compromise in what's on it. So obviously, sides one and two are the album. And then LP2, which is the bonus tracks, is Mob Rules, heavy metal soundtrack version, which I always preferred different mix so it's good to have that here um die young was a b-side the mob rules is a new 2021 mix i don't know the story behind this but it's interesting that this one single track has had a recent remix um makes you wonder if the if the tapes are there for everything else could they remix the whole album but i'm going to touch on that in a second and then you've got the sign of the southern cross heaven and hell uh, which is from portland so that's that's the only part from there. And then you've got Country Girl, Slipping Away, The Mob Rules, Voodoo, which is from Hammersmith Odeon as, as well. So depending on which versions of these formats you buy, you're going to have a different bunch of stuff, which is why I've focused on just the core album. So if you've already got Mob Rules on vinyl and it's in mint condition, great. But if you haven't, and you want to know what should I do, I would recommend this because it come, it's a double album. The extra tracks are worth it. Yes, it's a compromise of some of the others, but you've got the core of the real, the core ones in a way. I haven't got the original vinyl, but so I can only talk about this and the sound is just stunning. It's powerful, it's rich, it's deep, it's vast, you know, um, there's some great tracks on here. Voodoo, the riff just fills the room. Sign of, sign of the Southern Cross. Falling off the edge of the world over and over. Um, sleeping away. You know, the belter that is turned up the night. It's all absolutely fantastic. Um, I didn't see them on this tour either. I mean, I, as I say, I saw them on the, the Heaven and Hell tour. And I got my, I was very lucky to get my program autographed, which you can see on the other video. But yes, these are, excellent pressings and as i say if you're new to the band these should be very tempting for probably just under 30 pounds for a double album you know it's absolutely excellent stuff my wish because this is a kind of i've got to say it it's a kind of it's not misguided it's kind of lost opportunities really i think i i'm i just have a feeling that we've had the Black Sabbath deluxe editions with the boxes, which I've covered on this channel. Saying there wasn't enough to do a box set for either of these albums, there obviously is. There's a lot of stuff that's either been, some of it's been put on the previous reissues, some of it's on these, some of it's been held back. That the original albums, they don't really need remastering, they, they don't need remixing. As I said earlier, they've remixed the, the track, the Mob Rules, as one of the extra tracks, but the rest of the album doesn't need to be touched. Seriously, it's fantastic. But a box set of the live material from this period, there's obviously enough stuff for that. And it sounds really, really good. So my feeling is that the Portland gig, which takes over one, C one CD and a couple of tracks on the other CD, could easily be a standalone release. And in some ways, I feel that, you know, BMG or would have got more mileage out of it if they'd done that. Because, you know, putting out the Black Sabbath Live at Portland, let's say, gig on its own, probably would have enticed more people in who didn't necessarily want to buy the studio album again, which they may have multiple times. And if you're very new to Black Sabbath, then having the, the vinyl version and the CD version is maybe something you've got to think about what you want to do. CD sales are on the are on the rise. The CD will give you, you know, 
all the tracks are available but you know the 2 CD version from 10 years ago also has a different mixture of extras and that's the same for Heaven and Hell so it isn't straightforward so the choice is yours really um, can't can't fault the, the the sounding of the original albums on, on either of these they sound great and as I say this is probably better than trying to seek out the original albums which aren't going to sound as good as this not because of the remastering but finding a pristine copy that isn't going to set you back more money than buying these and of course the CDs are are also excellent you know I love both formats as you well, all formats either so thank you very much for watching thank you for being here thank you for subscribing and remember music is the healer it is the doctor and I shall see you on my next video